Hello, hello, my beautiful Virgos. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October New Moon reading. So welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you're returning. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Virgo and we're going to take a look at what's going on during this new moon cycle which lands on October 6th and flows into that full moon on October 20th. So whew, right off the bat here for you, we're going to see where your current energy is at, what uh, obstacles or challenges may be coming up that you'll be facing. We'll take a look at how to navigate through this cycle, especially now that we're in Mercury retrograde here. And uh, we're going to take a look at your fullest potential, the energy to keep your momentum going, as well as action steps that we can take for you uh, to continue growing on your path here. And just a friendly reminder, this is a general reading, not a one-on-one. -on -one, so please do take what resonates, uh, Virgo. Leave the rest behind. Feel free to check out your other chart placements as well. And if you're interested in signing up for a free reading or a personal reading, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so we're going to dive into where your energy is currently at. And we do have Porcupine Spirit saying, time for a beginner's mind. So a lot of you are starting something fresh. Uh, I feel like you may be leaving behind something that was a loss to you at one point because we have the Five of Cups showing up in your energy here. And the Five of Cups is about an emotional loss. There's a disappointment here, uh, maybe even a little bit of a broken heart, a betrayal. And I feel like you are trying to appreciate what it is that you do have in your life and you are having faith, renewed faith in the future in this new beginning that is coming to you. And I feel like the obstacle showing up is healing. It's uh, forgiving, <clears throat> whether this is somebody else, whether this is working on forgiving yourself here, because we have uh, the base chakra uh, is all about foundations. They're telling me healing and forgiving, which is heart chakra energy coming in. And you can see here that he has his hands up over his heart here. And so I feel like there's something within the heart chakra you're working on healing. And with the base chakra showing up as your challenge position, this may be a whole new beginning for a lot of you. Instability, building something from the ground up once again. Uh, so for a lot of you, Porcupine Spirit does say you're coming in with uh, a new, new ideas, um, new decisions, new choices, new opportunities, because uh, after this loss, you it's almost like you need to start completely fresh. You may have to start from the ground up. I am getting Ace of Pentacles vibes here. It's like a new beginning, uh, maybe a new home, a new beginning with a career. It can be a healing from a relationship as well, but let's clarify this energy for you. We're going to use the Tarot of the Mystical Moments here, and uh, Spirit, can you please clarify what is this emotion? emotional loss or the separation energy for my beautiful Virgos at this time. What are they feeling like there's a loss from? All right, we have the Hierophant. Okay, so some of you are leaving a high level commitment with the Hierophant showing up here, or some of you are moving towards what your true morals are, uh, receiving advice possibly from people uh, of higher establishment that wasn't the best, I feel, and that may be where the separation comes from. So the Hierophant can certainly see uh, be an establishment, a company, a job that may have let you go uh, in the past, and there was some sort of a loss there. Uh, and for others of you, if this is a relationship, there is some sort of separation from a high-level commitment here. For others, this can even be a, a change in your fi family dynamics here. Uh, but this is about tradition as well. It's about being divinely guided here uh, and gaining the wisdom from the situation that happened prior. Let's take a look at what's going on here as your challenge. Uh, again, some of you, this is a whole new beginning in a career. Uh, some of you may have to move or find a, a place to live on your own, especially if you are separating or divorcing from somebody. Uh, definitely getting strong 
stability is what you are wanting to build for yourself, but it may be something new coming up. We do have the Eight of Cups showing up as your challenge. So there is something that you're walking away from here uh, that you were feeling trapped in, but I like that the Eight of Cups shows up in the challenge position because I feel like, yeah, you may not have wanted to walk away from the situation. You may not have wanted the separation uh, to come in or to feel this loss. I mean, who wants to feel that, right, Virgo? But I feel for many of you, this can have to do with a partnership or a relationship here. Uh, but you're finally releasing. You're finally letting go and moving towards uh, more freedom, more liberation here. So let's clarify and get another card here with the Eight of Cups. Especially if you were held down by some sort of a legal requirement, if there was a marriage involved here, uh, we have the hermit energy. So some of you are feeling a little bit lonely, a little bit isolated with the hermit showing up in reverse, uh, even feeling a little bit rejected or maybe even foolish that maybe you stayed in this energy for as long as you did. And the challenge here is moving on from this and not resisting change. But I certainly see a brand new beginning coming in for you, especially with that beginner's mindset. So let's take a look at what you'll focus on manifesting during this new moon cycle. October 6th, uh, we have the Eight of Wands. You're going to focus on communication. So there may be very important communication that comes in. This also is the card of relocation. It's a card of travel. It's the card of speed or movement. But it's some sort of news that comes in that changes everything very quickly, especially if you are feeling stuck. Uh, this could be, they're telling me a court date. There could be a court date uh, as well. But let's clarify what this news is. What is this news that my beautiful Virgos are manifesting during this new moon cycle? I feel like you're waiting to hear back from somebody at this time that's either going to give you an a important date or a document to sign. Do make sure, because we are in Mercury retrograde, uh, make sure that you are overlooking all documents, paying very close attention to any hidden fees or small prints. We have the Five of Cups showing up again. Uh, the Five of Cups is the energy that presented itself in the very beginning here. And uh, what I feel like you are actually manifesting is you can see here with the Five of Cups that she is looking over here at the flowers that have dropped that she was at one point carrying. And now I feel like you're manifesting movement and a new opportunity where you're actually looking over uh, at the two opportunities that are right in front of you. You can see that one flower is larger than the other, but they are still budding. There's still growth and there's still... There's still a whole lot of opportunity coming in for you. Uh, and I feel like what you're manifesting is not necessarily focusing on what's behind you. Instead, moving forward. And that's exactly what this is all about. Hearing some sort of communication. There's healing involved here. You can see that there is the star. The star is about healing, especially after a traumatic moment. But I feel like there were difficulties. I feel like the worst is behind you. But now it's, uh, it's almost like you're cleaning up the bits and pieces of the wreckage is what I am sensing here. So whatever wreckage this was for you, I'm sending you out a lot of love, Virgo, uh, because it does look like there's a painful loss within it. But I feel like you are definitely seeing what's in front of you and seeing uh, the new opportunities coming in. Let's get one more card to clarify this accelerated motion, this Eight of Wands. There is the star that we were just talking about with that energy. Uh, so yes, the star is about uh, inspiration, hope. It's healing after a tower moment because the tower is what's happened for you in the past. Okay, this is card uh, 17 the star and card 16 is the tower so you're healing and moving past the energy of whatever this loss is for you virgo you're definitely moving on you're coming out stronger it is the end of a difficult time and you're finally feeling um feeling like you are you have something to look forward to, okay? Something to look forward to is what I am sensing. There's excitement there. Uh, there's a little bit of nervous energy about taking a step into the un unknown, especially, you know, when we all start something new, whether uh, we move out uh, on our own for the first time. 
uh, after you know graduation or if we start a new job there's always that nervous energy but there's that piece of excitement as well and I feel like that's the stage you're kind of going into with the stars there's a lot of healing going on but you are um you're going to hear news that's actually going to progress you forward. You may hear news as well about a home, a uh, job opportunity. So I'm, I'm loving this energy, but I'm also getting the name Rich. Rich uh, could be Richard. So if that is your name or if you are... Uh, working with a Rick or a Rich, excuse me, a po possibly you're wanting to f focus on your finances, focus on um, bringing more riches into your life. All right, uh, let's get a card on what is your fullest potential during this new moon cycle, October 6th, the new moon flowing into that October 20th full moon. What is Virgo's fullest potential during this cycle? Let's take a look here, Virgo. Obstacles and challenges. So you have another five showing up here for you. So this is the five of wands saying that you will overcome any of these challenges. This is your fullest potential. This card, I love that it shows up. I love that you have two fives because <clears throat> two fives to me is about you releasing these obstacles. Yes, there's uncertainty. Uh, yes, there may be obstacles. This is the card of travel as well, uh, but it can be change. A lot of change coming in that's actually going to offer you more freedom here, Virgo. So I feel with the obstacles and challenges, the potential here is to overcome them. And that's certainly what you are doing. The five of wands can be about uh, competing with others at this time, being pushed by others to be the best version of yourself. This can be you pushing yourself to be the best version of yourself. Uh, especially, I feel like there may be others that are either competing for your attention or competing to win. I just seen uh, a marathon. It's almost like people are running beside you for the same goal. So, or maybe you are actually competing or running in a marathon as well. But I feel like you are almost to that. You may not be able to see the finish line, but I feel like you have the inner determination and the inner strength to, to overcome any of these obstacles that are coming your way. Uh, curious, maybe we'll get that strength card showing up here to clarify, but that is certainly what I am feeling for you. You're, you're moving and plunging forward. Oh, I love it. And actually, you're very intuitive. You're listening to your intuition here, Virgo, with the Queen of Cups showing up. You are extremely intuitive at this time. You're recognizing that you are love, that you deserve love. You're focusing on your self-growth, your self-love at this time. And uh, I feel like these challenges have only made you stronger with you, with yourself. Uh, there may have been situations in the path where, uh, excuse me, in well, on your path, in the past, that you didn't pay attention to any red flags or you weren't completely in tune with your intuition here. But I feel like this has only grown stronger within you uh, because you have a lot of love, a lot of uh, you, a very healing, loving energy. You're very empathetic here, Virgo, and uh, you want other people to feel good. And sometimes you give and give and give out of your cup and there's nothing left for you. But I feel what you're doing at this time is um, you're overcoming these obstacles. You are facing them head on is what I'm getting. Again, I feel like the worst is behind you, but uh, you are emotionally evolving. And I love this card for you. That is your fullest potential to o uh, overcome challenges and become more emotionally evolved because of what's happened prior. Now let's take a look and see what energy that you need to keep this momentum going. And it looks like there's a lot of beautiful healing in here. It looks like you're finally having hope in the future here. Uh, yeah, you're getting past the heartache. So, oh goodness, Virgo, whatever it was that you're going through, whether this is a relationship, whether this is a job loss, for some of you it may be a physical loss in this world. Maybe somebody has crossed over, somebody has passed, and you're going through that as well. Uh, there's something with the heart chakra. They're telling me something with the chest area. It could be lungs and maybe even uh, like a breast cancer. Uh, for a lot of you, you're overcoming this heartache and loss. Okay, that is a beautiful energy. Keep going in this direction because you will get there. You um, are through the hard, heavy stuff, and now you're focusing all the energy, attention, and love on yourself, which will manifest new, beautiful things for you. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's take a look. Spirit, can you please clarify 
the three of swords heartache so yes there's heartache there yes there is uh, again loss some sort of separation for some of you um again i know it's cliche but rejection is god's protection this opportunity uh was meant to come in and uh teach you teach you about love compassion growth uh for not just mankind but for yourself here as well virgo let's take a look and clarify this three of swords spirit what do we have for virgo the three of swords yeah there's the eight of swords showing up you're freeing yourself from uh the toxic energy of something holding you back uh, maybe it wasn't toxic per se it certainly could have been but i just feel like you felt trapped for so long now you're finally moving forward there is growth there is movement uh you're unlocking the cage here you can see that the cage is already open it's always been open and you've always had the choice to just look up and open that uh, but you can see that the eight of swords energy um there is something still holding him back you can see he's kind of looking down and doesn't realize that if he just looked up and opened he could fly out but the eight of swords says you're now opening your eyes to the truth you're no longer trapped in fear there is clarity here you're letting go of an old story some sort of mental block of something that was holding you behind and now virgo you have your beautiful wings it is time to fly free is what spirit is saying oh goodness beautiful you're releasing yourself from this emotional baggage or this emotional pain, this heartache, this loss. You're releasing yourself from that feeling and moving forward. Now let's take a look at action steps that my beautiful Virgos can take to help, help you achieve your desired outcome. What action steps? I feel like one may have flipped here. Okay, maybe not. What action steps? for my beautiful uh they're showing me somebody getting their clothes they're you're either ironing or maybe you're steaming uh clothes so maybe you're doing this for an event that you're going to uh i feel like it's more they're just showing me steaming or ironing so if you are doing that right now while you're listening or if you're you need to do that yet and maybe you or just uh got your clothes back from a dry cleaners uh please take that as it resonates oh wow okay we have the star showing up again there's hope there is healing there is um an end of a difficult time coming in for you and we have this beautiful new beginning oh my word this kind of wraps up everything that we've been talking about here we have the star card coming out once again and uh this is inspiration this is very inspirational itself it says yeah you're moving towards your dreams you've been doing self-care self-love and growth this is a very beautiful positive card because it says yes you've had a tower moment you've had incredible amounts of loss virgo but i feel like there's hope now in the future and you're finally standing on your own two feet and you're manifesting that dream life that you've wanted to manifest for so long but there's been something that's been keeping you trapped and now you're moving into it with a beginner's mindset you're moving into something uh not from the ground up but from a new place of gaining wisdom you've gained the wisdom you have the experience so no you're not starting from the ground up because uh, a lot of you are thinking well i have to start completely over you're not starting from scratch you're starting from wisdom uh, they really want to illuminate that, that you are starting from wisdom so beautiful energy here let's clarify the star card so this is the action step that you can take to keep going is uh keep that light burning right within you uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This uh, slowly but surely is happening for you. There may have been slower steps. Uh, at times it may have been stagnant. Maybe you couldn't see the star. You couldn't see beyond the tower moment that came in for you here. But I feel like slow and steady. The Knight... Uh, knights are all about action, but this is slow moving. So you're moving towards freedom and you're moving towards healing and you will conquer any obstacles virgo so wow let's take a look at what it is you're manifesting what's this beautiful new beginning that virgo is manifesting whether this this is something with the base chakra again so foundation uh it certainly can be survival so again home job finances anything that you need for survival uh yeah we have the moon 
So there is clarity, there is truth. Uh, pay attention to the full moon in October as well. So this moon cycle is gonna be very, very, very important for you, Virgo. Utilize the energy of your intuition. Utilize uh, the dreams that are coming to you, the people, the signs, synchronicities. Uh, but the moon says that anything that you feel has been confusing, any sort of deception, uncertainty, hidden truths, the shadow side will be illuminated around that full moon time because it did come out in reverse and the moon coming out in reverse um, talks about clarity truths exposed okay uh, it's an unmasking so there will be clarity and um, I feel like it's gonna offer more new beginnings for you let's get one more regarding the moon spirit oh I love it I love this for you the seven of wands, seven of wands is uh, saying that you are standing on your own two feet. You're standing your ground. You're going the distance. You're living life on your terms, Virgo. You've accepted the past. You've had to defend yourself in the past. You felt attacked. You felt misunderstood. You're finally accepting defeat, uh, but it's not making you weak. It's making you strong. You're making amends with the past and you're breaking free from the cage. Uh, just like we've seen earlier with that Eight of Swords, you're, you're not trapped any longer. You're letting yourself out and you're strong enough to do so because you've come out stronger from this. You can see here etched into his skin he has love he has war fighting he has beauty growth expansion he's been through a lot and the seven of wands here says that you've uh, accepted this challenge in the past and now you're breaking free from letting any of this hold you back and you're moving forward this is a very powerful powerful reading for you virgo i think one of the most intense that i've ever done for you because i feel like this is a huge shift and i'm I'm uh, empathic myself and I can feel the heart chakra, the heaviness, but you being able to finally release that is going to feel very, very good. And it's going to, you know, not happen overnight is what they're telling me. It's a slow process, uh, but it's still going to make you feel better than when you were smack dab in the middle of it in the, the recent past here. And uh, let's take a look here at additional action steps that you can take to help you achieve your desired outcome. We do have ascended mass Masters, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. Oh, wow. Ascended masters. Uh, whatever religion or spirituality, this can be, you know, Buddha, this can be Jesus, this can be Mother Magdalene, uh, this can be Lakshmi, this can be whatever ascended masters you resonate to. You may have, uh, I'm just seeing a cross. I'm seeing a cross. Um, Perhaps some of you were just in a church as well. Maybe you're doing some praying, but I'm seeing a, a, a church uh, with a cross here. Well, obviously a lot of, some churches, uh, they do have crosses, but I feel like they, this is a place of worship and there could have been a celebration of life. Uh, there could have been even a baptism. There's something with a church that uh, Spirit is showing me at this time. So if that was you, uh, just, just know that you are being watched over. All of you are, my beautiful Virgos. Uh, let's take a look here and get one more. We have books. Books. Uh, this can be, it says your life purpose uh, may have to do with writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. Uh, I feel like a lot of you may be diving into self-help books at this time. It could be, uh, you know, the Bible. It can be a Course in Miracles is what Spirit is saying. A Course in Miracles. So uh, that is a spiritually based book that is very, um, very beautiful energy, A Course in Miracles. So maybe you have that by your bedstand. Uh, some of you may be working through are looking at maybe even cookbooks, old cookbooks as well as what they're showing me. So please take that as it resonates. And lastly here, we're going to pull from the Soul Truth card deck here and I do ask that either you pause the video and really contemplate and think about your answer here or maybe write it down write down what the question is and reflect on it because these soul truth cards really get in deep and they make you think they really make you think oh we have two of them okay all right oh so the first one that we have for you is am I focused on what I want most and it says one reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is 
that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. And that is Tony Robbins saying that. Today's soul action, Virgo, what you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make adjustments? Prioritize. Beautiful energy here. Pay attention because yes, uh, law of attraction, what you focus on will grow. Okay. And last up here, when was the last time I danced freely? When was the last time I danced freely? It says dance because it will shift you into a beautiful state because it will get you out of your head and into your body and heart because fear lives in the head along with anxiety, control, guilt, frustration, and impatience. In just a few minutes of dancing, you will make the shift. You will feel a change of joy and confidence take over and you will feel a, your soul reminder to live and lead from your heart. Dancing is a tool to ground us in the now. It triggers happiness and it is the gateway to freedom. To become free, dance. Today's soul action, Virgo, dance for three minutes to your favorite song. Notice the inward fire grow within you and the feeling you feel being you. You are a wild, loving force. Express it with dance today. Beautiful energy. They're actually illuminating the base chakra which is all about dancing and getting that uh, that hip area, uh, the the pelvic area, the um, the knees, the legs, the feet. That is all your base chakra getting moving, and dancing will certainly help open up that uh, area and ground yourself as well. So I'm loving this energy for you. So that is what I have for you, Virgo. I hope it resonates. I'm sending you all out a huge hug through the screen here. I hope you can feel it. Uh, you will. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. I feel like uh, that quote, I know, you know, it is cliche. You hear it a lot. But the hard stuff is behind you. It is only going to be uh, powerful, beautiful, and uh, forward movement from here on out. So if this message did resonate with you, Virgo, please feel free to hit that like button, uh, subscribe, share, comment. I do read all of your comments. Uh, and I am looking very forward to tuning into your energy next week. Lots of love.